thanks for joining us for this devotional called Loving Truth. We've been looking at Psalm 78. There are three places that come to my mind when I think of Jehovah as our shepherd. Of course, Psalm 23, the Lord is our shepherd and we shall not want. We noticed in Psalm 77 that the Lord led Israel like a shepherd uh, through the work, the hand of Moses and Aaron. And now at the end of Psalm 78, again, we have this theme of God being our shepherd. Psalm 78 is a very long psalm. It was given to show the history of Israel and to be taught from one generation to another. To show a couple things. Number one, God's praiseworthy deeds, his powerful miracles, so that people would trust him, know his word and trust him. And secondly, Psalm 78 was given so that people would not follow the rebellion of the people of God during that time of wilderness wandering. In fact, several words are mentioned to describe them. They were rebellious, disloyal. They were unfaithful. All of that describing those who knew the word of God and saw the power of God, but did not follow the ways of God. So Psalm 78 was given so that we might not replicate their rebellion, but we indeed would trust the Lord. They fell into idolatry. They tested the Lord God. A, a sad, sad history. But now when you come to the end of Psalm 78, you'll see that God had not given up on his people, for he had promised that David would reign and that David would have even a greater descendant reign on the throne, who would be Jesus Christ. Now, listen to verse 70 at the very end of the psalm. The Lord chose David his servant and took him from the sheep pens. So here is Israel needing direction, feeling lost, having wandered away from the truth of God, they need a shepherd. And so the Lord, who is their shepherd, used Moses and Aaron, and now he's going to use David. He chose David. David is called to be a leader. And he is a servant leader. He gained his experience in the sheep pens of Bethlehem. He was a shepherd boy, and he learned what it was to watch over sheep. Many people thought that to be a very lowly position, but David saw it as an exalted position because that's exactly what Jehovah is for his people. So when he was tending the flock, the Lord took him, verse 71, from tending the sheep to be the shepherd of his people, Jacob, of Israel, his inheritance. He gave him an amazing promotion. Not that it wasn't valuable and important to watch sheep. It was. It was the basis of much of the agricultural economy of, of their towns and villages. But now David is going to be a shepherd over the whole nation. And he is going to be like God to them. That is, as a leader and as a deliverer, he is the image of the Messiah who will be coming, the Lord Jesus Christ who will die for them and guide them, be their shepherd and be their Lord. And then in verse 72, it says, And David shepherded them with the integrity of heart, of his heart, and with skillful hands he led them. I've often thought that this portion of Scripture is a great portion of God's Word to describe spiritual leadership. Verse 70, you have to be chosen of God and you have to be a servant. You have to have real practical experience like David did as being a shepherd. You have to be prepared even in humble settings before you are brought to the bigger stage. And then verse 72 says that your work needs to be with integrity of heart. Leaders need to be honest. And secondly, there needs to be competency, skillful hands. It's not just enough to be honest. You have to be able to do the job. And leaders have to lead like a servant who's chosen of God, having humble experience with an honest heart of integrity. That kind of leadership takes the church forward. But never forget, David is a picture of Jesus, who is the perfect leader 
who is the Savior servant, the suffering servant on our behalf, and the one who took our sin upon him so that we would become his children, so that we would be forgiven, and so that we could go forward. May God lead us like a shepherd in all of our days. May we every day look to him as our guide and as our protector, as our Lord, our master, our savior, our shepherd. And God loves us so much that his tender heart goes out to his sheep. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, give to us that wonderful experience of your guidance and your care today. And when we are in the position of leadership, may we show competency and integrity. May we show humility, being a servant, as well as the sense that our identity is found in you. You've gifted us and called us to serve. May we be like Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen.